What is going on everybody, it's Boy Chimpact and today I'm up against Lars and mine is all over the place right now and basically this is a pretty difficult matchup so I feel like this would be a pretty good week to lose um, with my mind going everywhere. So um, he is going to send a battle request and do a flight to catch later tonight. I actually don't know when it is by the way, my brother booked it so some dude wants to train with me, no thanks. I thought that was Lars, I was gonna accept. I was gonna trade in my Pokemon. Maybe Dylan's a scout for Lars. Maybe Dylan was a scout for Lars. I'm pretty smart by Lars, but also pretty scumbaggy. I don't think Lars would do that though. He did draft land of every year though, so you never know with this Lars dude. Huh. Oh my god. I actually have like a mini headache just thinking about this game. I know that if I think too much about this matchup, my head is just going to hurt and it's gonna just make me just gonna make me worse, but like if I team build too much for it, you know? It's it's just going to be worse because I'm gonna think too much. But all right, here we go. Let's see what he's got. Yep, Magirna. Okay. Magirna, Rotom. Loop. Primarina. Lottie. There we go. I could type this out, but my keyboard lags a little bit, so it's going to take a little bit. Um, his Stealth Rocker is... Nihiligo. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lead out with Ang. Just in case he leads out with uh Rotom. And I'll be able to fire off an Earth Power against that. I do have a Bonberry, as you guys saw from my thing. <sighs> Lufthansa, Lottie. Guys. 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 This is perfect. This is ideal. Please stay in Draco. Please stay in Draco. Oh my god. I never thought that this situation would happen, but just in case the situation did happen, this is... Okay, he's, he withdraws. Into Wit. The Primarina. <laughs> Frozen? No, it is. Um, Because he does have a Rotom, I do want to keep this. I'm going to calc that damage though to see if he's a salt vest or something. I'm taking this guys. I'm taking this. I'm not upset about this. Actually I am. This is kind of stupid. Pre-marina. Ice Beam should do 20 to 22. That did around that much damage. That's max HP though. So let's say I have Fusion Bolt. It does 80 to 96. Team is Lottie, Luke, Brodom, Magirna. There we go. So, if I go and switch out into Katara, I'm going to switch out into Katara. Just in case he does thaw and have a Wakan Berry too. Oh, he had Scald. Okay, that makes it's fine. 
I'm just gonna go for the sludge bomb here. That's kind of stupid though. Forced, I forced him to go for Scald. I wasn't even thinking about Scald, I should just... No, I don't know dude. Ah, man. So now I have to rely on Azu. Now I have to rely on Azu. <sighs> man. I have to rely on Azu for Magirna now. I think he's Wakan Berry on his Primarina too. So that, gosh, man, I wish I still had the Wakan. I, obviously, there's you can play around this easily, but there's no way he's choice. Yeah, there's no way you're choice. I didn't think he was. I I, I thought that he was going to switch to Lottie, which is the reason why I made that play. Yeah, okay. The Lottie. Okay, that's good. No poison. Fine. I'm gonna go cure him here. I don't think he Draco's with me having an Azu. I'd say that did around 38%, maybe? 30, 30, 35, 38. You gotta pay attention. He does have, he did just go for Dragon Balls. I don't understand. How much time do I have left? I have 61 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna count Dragon Pulse with Haban. H A B A N. It should do 37 to 45. But that did over 100. So he's specs. Do I stay in here expecting him to switch out? I'm gonna stay in here and expecting him to switch out. Okay. Oh, it could be Soul Dew. I didn't even calc Soul Dew. Man. Um, I'll go Thunders here and click U turn. Is it Soul Dew? I just I just completely forgot about Soul Dew because I'm I'm thinking Soul Dew like it can't be Extra Ball like Extra Ball doesn't make sense when you have Dragon coverage. Man, it 
that came in my mind as soon as like I saw him stay in. Ah, oh, that's so bad. Yeah, Rotom comes out. So that around 12%, right? Kind of quick knockoff. <sighs> if I go Azu, I can take a hit, but I think I have to go Katara. Because that's max HP on his Rotom. That's max HP damage. With this gone, Lucario, I mean, Thunders can't sweep. So I will go for Steam Eruption here. He's faster. He's faster? It didn't kill me though. If he goes Lucario, he just flexed on me. I don't... Rotom Heat Volt Switch does 67 to 68 <sighs> Percent So I guess he's max HP without a lot of special attack. Goes Lottie. Think I have to go. Azu here. Save this as a sack later. I shouldn't be able to take this relatively well. Yeah. I'll just click knock off. Maybe I should have clicked play rough. Because his Magirna is potentially a Z move Pokemon. What? It couldn't be Specs. What was I even thinking? It couldn't be Specs because Specs would have done. It did like six more than modest damage. <sighs> My God. Mm. 
Okay. Please be Pasha or something. Pasha. It could be aggressive here, but there's no reason to. I was aggressive with the Kiram. And look at where that got me. Like, I'm dealing damage, whatever, to whatever, because his water resist is gone, Primarina is gone, so all he has left is... Yeah, it's fine. The Trio actually puts in a ton of work here. Earthquake the Magirna, Earthquake the Hinalgo. Okay. So, Primarina's gone, Rotom's gone. His Lottie doesn't have a berry because it did way too much damage to my Kirim through the Haban. They're 106. There's no way Dragon Pulse can do 106. So it has to be a boosting item. <laughs> Why did I think it was specs, man? I just thought it did over the damage, so it had to be specs. But it only did 6 over the damage with the max roll. So it could have been like a low roll specs? Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm still right. Maybe he's timid specs. No, he can't be timid specs. I sacked Kirim. I sacked Kirim. On the bright side, Thunders puts in work. I just need damage off on the Luke and Magirna. It should kill Nihiligo. It goes Nihiligo right here. Aqua Jet does not kill. So I'll switch to Dog Trio. Even though Dog Trio puts in a lot of work, so does Thunderous. So it's fine. No poison, please. Thank you. Did 69 or What is he doing? Chad Shell. Just forty seven to fifty six.
Two Hempel Canyon to sack. Do a volcano just a volcano doesn't do anything. I'll sack it. I was also thinking about finessing him, going out to fortress and then thunders on an HP fire, but I didn't think it was worth it. Gotta click knockoff here. Magirin is gonna have HP fire, 100%. This bolt beam Lottie, probably dual stab, yeah. He knows that if he goes Magirin, it's gonna get trapped by Doug Trio. So, what does he go out into? Is this justified? It is justified. Shukaberry. Could be special. Just fifty eight to sixty eight. And wild charge should knock it out. Wild charge to sixty four to seventy seven. <sighs> also don't want to take too much recoil. I'm going to Z, Gigavolt. Okay, so he sacked it. He didn't have priority. That's good. Good out to this. This cannot outspeed me. And I know... He doesn't know if I'm physical or not. He shed shell though. I know he shed shell. So... Nihilo go wild charge 68 to 81. You turned at 17, so it puts him in range of Aqua Jet. I'm going to U-turn into Fortress. I'm 
The bottom line is I need this Thunderous to kill the Magirna. Oh, that's gonna be so tough. She fired us 40 to 40 to my Doug Trio. Goes for Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock, Power Gym, Sludge Bomb. Let me see here. Is it HP Ice or HP Fire? I think it's HP Ice. I'm gonna Raspin. Power Jam. Yes! He's in Aqua Jet range. He's stealth rock with Shed Shell. What is the Magirna set that he's so... Willing to set up Stealth Rock. Because if it's Trick Room HP Fire, he can't kill Azu. Lottie couldn't actually have HP fire over psychic coverage. Because he would have clicked that. He would have clicked that against my. No, he wouldn't, because. He would have clicked the psychic move against my. My god. Twisted Spoon. Psy Shock. Okay, so I guess it's a roll against Kirim, so he didn't know. Alright, so... Nihilo goes down, Lucario is down, Magirna and Lottie are left. He goes out into Lottie. The TC4 is so bad. I have to hope Wild Charge plus Aqua Jet kills with Azu. Because he's going to have some sort of speed manipulation. I have the trio that I can use. I can save this fortress. He didn't go Magirna against this. So he's gotta have a move to kill me with here. Otherwise he would've went out into Magirna. Hmm. 
Let's see, I go fortress. No. I'm gonna just try to rob spin. I think it's HG Fire. Thunderbolt. Okay. That did around 60. I'm gonna bolt switch here. I don't think he has a move on Makirna to kill Fortress. But at this point, I think Aura Sphere does knock me out. And he's gonna get the boost, so it doesn't matter if I sack Fortress here or not, or let it take damage. Thunders is the only play. The only thing that I have to consider though is if I go for U-turn or knockoff here. I think I go for knockoff because he has the Shuko Berry then that's fine. And if he's Trick Room, Oz is going to be able to speed in Waterfall. If he's Shift Gear... I don't know. It only matters if he's Trick Room. I'm happy about the position that I'm in right now. Magirna is so scary though, because I used the Gigavolt Havoc, and that was my way to just kill it. And I don't have T-Wave. I was debating between T-Wave and Taunt on this Thunderous. If I had T-Wave, this would have been so much better. Alright, so now I have to think, do I want to Taunt? Do I want to Taunt? If he's Trick Room, then Taunt is better. It's Expert Belt. It was Expert Belt. It was something like that. I thought it was Soul Dew, but it's Expert Belt. Okay. He's going to want to set up here, so I'm just going to taunt. I feel like taunt's the best play. Oh, it's scarfed. Are you kidding? I'm playing around Trick Room and he's scarfed. What is his item? Whatever, I'll have to stay in anyway. Did 94 damage. Is that Pixie Plate? Yeah, it's high roll Pixie Plate. Modest. He gets 175 speed. And I, 
the trigger is 189. Unless that's timid pixie plate. No, because modest pixie plate is that's max damage. Alright. So I go Azu first. Click waterfall, because I'm AV. He's at plus one. Plus one gleam. What? No, max HP. I'm max HP. I'm max HP. Ah, oh, shoot. I think this might kill. Plus one gleam might kill. Wait, Pixie. Why am I calculating Pixie Plate? He's obviously scarfed. I'm doing doubles damage. This does 135 to 138. At plus one. It's not to assault vest though. Oh my god. I'm... Guys, you gotta understand exactly what I'm doing right now. Like, you have to understand. Like... I'm sorry. My mind is everywhere. I don't know what was wrong with me. I was like, why is this Dazzling Gleam doing so little? But yeah, it's obvious. It's... Oh my god. Taunt was the best play. I'm staying by that. Taunt is the best play. Holy crap, that was close. I played that game really badly. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys, for that game. I'm really sorry. I played it so bad. I don't know what was going through my mind. Like, my I put my custom Azu spread, and I just see Citrus Berry right there. I was like, why is it doing so much damage? It's like, it's Citrus Berry. If I click Aqua Jet, I could have lost. Because Dugtrio... Dugtrio's Earthquake actually... kills... after Aqua Jet, so... If he crit me, that was a choke. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I got a flight to catch in a couple hours. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.